We are here in Walmhausen in Bavaria, in the south of Germany, close to Weißenhorn, where the Perry headquarters is located, where we are printing a multifamily house. It was a bit of a special process to get the building permit in the end, um, but so we had to do lots of tests uh, in our laboratory. On top of that, uh, 3D printing allows for the creation of free forms, um, which of course is, uh, can be used for aesthetically pleasing designs, but it can also be used to integrate functions into the walls. So in this building, we are aiming to integrate all electricity, uh, power outlets uh, and conduits uh, directly in the print, so that we will not have to drill any holes to, for example, install uh, power outlets. So what's special here at this project is um, that we got a traditional architectural plan, which we changed in our own software to a 3D printable file, which goes then from, from this file into a slicing software, um, where we prepare everything for the print. So on this construction site, we are operating um, between three and four people. Um, the reason for that is um, here we are also making research, we are making documentation, all that stuff, but our future goal is that um, we can handle the, the whole construction site just with two people. To operate the printer, you need just a laptop, a tablet, or you can also use easily your smartphone. So when I'm talking about two workers on the construction site, um, there's one who is caring about the printer, the other guy is basically doing everything about the material management in the background. On this construction site, uh, we aim uh, to be done in the course of six months until the building is uh, completely done. Um, the, the printing part of that is a significant shorter amount of time. So the print time is, is going to be very, very short. And considering that this is something we haven't done a hundred times over, there's of course lots of potential to further speed up that process in the future.